I do not mean to be mean. I do mean to be mad. Those that criticize this kind of preaching, they don't like authority. If you ain't got the King James, you ain't got, hey, if you don't have a King James, you don't have a Bible. And it'd be surprised. Son, don't go to sleep while I'm talking. Hey, 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 don't, don't, don't you lay your head back. I, I'm, I'm important. I'm somebody. I love you. You know I love you. Have I convinced you I love you? Uh, yeah. Well, you better th- you better nod your head. Yes. All right. Come on. Put it right there. All right. You stay awake and you listen to me. I still believe it'd be a cold day in hell before I get my family from a woman. I'm a preacher. You got dressed today, you dressed deity. This is the For Freedom Podcast, a podcast that is part of the RFP network that seeks to bring freedom in Christ from the spiritual abuse of legalism. Now here are your hosts, John Hollyfield and James Safrit. And so fundamentalism is designed to unpack the idea of authority from Scripture. The problem with that is that that's not the defining principle in Scripture. It is a part of Scripture, but the defining principle in Scripture is love. I'm not saying that all men who sit under the, the, that teaching will become abusive, but what I'm saying is the ones who are abusive will be drawn to that sort of teaching. I, I don't want to give people just a list of things they can start doing differently until they have a heart out of which they're going to be doing those things differently. But I think bitterness is different from hurt. I would say that hurt or even abuse does not have to result in bitterness. No, it is now. And a baby in the background. Well, that's how we know we're in a good spot. Merry Christmas from (laughs) Four Freedom Podcast. And a happy new year to you, Jonathan. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. That's right. Man, we watched those. We, we, we finished watching those the other night. All the Home Alones? That's did the two. Watch, we we got to watch those every year. Did you watch the newest one yet? No. Come on, John. It ain't got Joe Pesci. All right, and it ain't got, if it ain't got Joe Pesci and it ain't got Daniel Stern, it's not worth watching. And, and Donald Trump, too. He's in the second one. <laughs> um, did, let me ask you this. Did you watch the new Christmas Story Christmas I've never seen the original. John, you're fired. I got five minutes <laughs> to host. This is horrible here. John, that, the newest The original one, just looked like torture to watch, so I've never it, seen it. I've, I've had to watch the original one since I was a child because I was Ralph and my younger brother was uh, his brother. I can't remember his name. And <clears throat> so the newest one came out, <clears throat> and me and my wife decided to sit down and watch it. And I'm not going to lie, John, I was pleasantly surprised. They did a really good job. They made some good key moments that pulled back into the old one, back into the new one. And uh, I thought it was really good. I thought it was really well written and, and produced. And, um, yeah, it was pretty good. Huh. I was wondering if people were going to think it's trash or if I mean, it was going to be another, if it would be a worthy holiday classic. Yeah, it was. I thought they did a really good job of making good motions to the old, to the original. And they kept a lot of the same actors that, that were grown up now as adults with kids and, and reliving that, that Christmas time through their kids. You know, it's one good thing about being a parent is we get to relive those childhood memories through our children. And uh, it's a great, great thing that God has, has laid out for us as parents. Um, so it's pretty cool. Yeah. John, have you decorated your house for Christmas and you got your Christmas lights all hung and Christmas tree up? And are, are Well, you- we got the Christmas decorations out, but we didn't have anything outside. Yeah. Uh, I 
I'm not big on decorating the outside of the house. Everybody else is, but I'm like, ah, humbug. I don't want to do it. (laughs) And I found out that the lights that we have for outside just didn't work. So with the time schedule and just not really wanting to go buy new lights, we didn't really do anything on the outside. Yeah, well, this is our second year in our house, and I have tried holding off on decorating the outside. You know, for the couple years we lived in the parsonage, I didn't have to decorate because it's the parsonage, just not our house. And so then last year we moved into the new house, but this year I was like, you're decorating outside. Like, buy the stuff and get your tail outside and decorate. So I hung up lights. We put garland around the everything. We've got uh, our little inflatables out there. We're just going to add to it every year. Not try to go super huge this first year, but so so uh, we look like we're actually festive and we like Christmas at our house now. So it's been good. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, nice. Not quite Clark Griswold yet, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah. One day Come I'll on. one day I'll be a Clark and we'll have the best Christmas lights in town. Love it. Yeah. So John, what's what's the what's the deal? We 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 finished up our 2022. This will be the last episode of 2022. Uh, we had a great uh, little. We, Spotify does their Spotify year in year in review, and uh, we saw some great episodes. We recorded some good things. Um, you know, one episode had almost 900 listens, which was pretty awesome. Um, with Nate Brooks and with um, uh, Jenna Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, we saw some some good things there. I uh, appreciate our listeners listening. We wouldn't do this if we didn't have listeners. Um, but, but you know, we're December. This will be the last episode uh, before the Christmas season, before the Advent happens. And uh, then we'll be coming back in 2023. What's, what's our looking like? What's our view coming up in 2023, John? Yeah, so when we were at the RFP for the sake of the Gospel Conference, we talked about this. We've not talked about this on the podcast But we were talking about, we were thinking about doing a little bit of a rebrand, or I don't know how you would, what you would say, like what you would call it, but we're we're thinking about reassessing, readjusting just a bit. And uh, I think we've decided we're going to keep the name for Freedom Podcast. Yeah. We're going to, we're going to adjust the focus a little bit. And we are going to be dealing with life issues. And you might say that we've already been sort of doing that, and we have. The, I'd say the last two episodes were really sort of soft introductions into that mm-hmm. area where we talked about, um, I think we interviewed uh, uh, Jim uh, uh, Michael Kruger mm-hmm. on his book, Bully P- Pulpit. We had uh, Jim Quigley uh, from the Addiction Connection and Freedom Farm Ministries. And so we, we're sort of getting into those types of Types of things, and we're we're hopefully looking forward in 2023. We're thinking about doing a, a we'll have a new intro, and we are going to sort of have a new focus, and really just sort of have some, some get some new life in it. I think I was getting a little bit burnt out with a lot of things, and this being one of them. And so James and I were able to talk about it when we went to the uh, the conference, and um, sort of got rejuvenated by it. And so looking forward, like, we're going to press a little bit of a reset button on twenty twenty when we get to 2023. And so we'll have, like, you won't, you won't, we, we're we not exactly sure when the next episode will come out. We know it'll be in the ne- in the new year. Yeah. We don't we're know shooting which. for maybe February, a little after February sometime. Yeah, but once it drops, we're going to be, we're going to be consistent. Yeah. Like every week almost. Uh, so, so that's what we're, we're looking forward to. So we're still going to be the four freedom podcast, but, uh, really want to, uh, get into areas and interview people that, uh, can help with the Bible, bringing the Bible to everyday living and everyday life and, and covering subjects like that and everything that we've done so far. So we, we've done 80 episodes. So Jim Quigley's episode was 80th episode. We've been doing it for... Two years? Yeah. Uh, we started June 2020. June will be two, yeah. So. Two and a half years. Yeah. So two and a half years, the podcast is gone. 80 episodes. It's it's had some ebb and flow with what we've been doing. And James and I have matured Yeah. as we've gone along. We are not the same two people whenever the podcast started and whenever James came on. Yeah. We have different focuses. We have different... Um, Different things we're passionate about. 
Yeah, and John, your your role as as you were a youth pastor when you started this, as an associate pastor, and now you're a senior pastor, mm-hmm. and uh, there, there's some things changing in, in that area of your life. Uh, we've all had, I think we've... James, we've, you've had a kid. I think you had a kid since we started it as well, didn't you? Or is Maggie? No, no. Maggie was born in February of 2020, so Maggie yeah. was a baby. I, I built a house. We moved into a house. We've We've been doing a lot of different ministry stuff, and... You know, so there's there's things change in life, and part of that change is us trying to figure out what <clears throat> the next role for this podcast is, and and how we can complement the uh, RFP network. We want to be an asset to the network, and uh, part of that I think is just giving a good view of counseling. John received his certification through counseling to the ACBC this last year. Um, I'm still in the process of that and getting my counseling certification. So there's a lot of up and downs and changes that we've went through in our lives, and so we want to we want to be consistent in that area as well in the podcast. And with some of those changes, um, you know, I'll be going to Israel, John, in the end of January, and so one of those episodes when we come back will just be a recap of Israel and what happened there and uh, the the events that we got to see. So so that's part of this whole process and how we can better serve you as a podcast. Yeah. And I and I, I'm glad you brought up the thing about the RFP network because we're com- we are we are definitely staying within the RFP network and and we it, we had some good times and talks with the guys while they're out there and they're wanting to be more gospel focused going forward as well and so um, this is actually and they're on board with what we're doing and uh, and so this is a move that is that is actually uh, in line with with what they're they're doing and 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 you think about those guys going through some life changes as well you know uh jc starting a church in chattanooga nathan starting a church in Asheville. yeah and so there's a there's a lot going on life is not slowing down and uh we recognize that um this is something that has been beneficial to others and uh is an opportunity to bring uh biblical truth to to those and they can take it and then if we can recommend a resource or if we can point you to a scripture that can be helpful and and help in your daily life and sanctification then we we want to we want to be able to do that and so uh, yeah. that's that's probably one of our our main goals and that kind of thing so you know we we look back at the I, I don't know I haven't I've I've never really done seasons. Yeah, you know yeah. some some shows do like season one, season two, but I've been going through and looking at it. At um, you know, each time we take a break and we come back, that's like a new season of the yeah. podcast. And I think in this last season, we have uh, talked about um, uh, biblical counseling. We've talked about um, being addicted to social media, being addicted to your phone. We finished our Galatians series. Mm-hmm. We interviewed some other RFP podcasts that are in the, the RFP network. We talked about hope and help in the marriage with Sean Perrone, interviewed Sean Perrone. We interviewed Michael Kruger on his new book, Bully Pulpit, and we've interviewed Jim Quigley about addictions and Freedom Farm Ministries. And so those are just a little bit of a taste of where we're going to be going in the future. Yeah, and if you have uh, an inter- a topic that you're you're struggling with or you need help with, uh, or you'd like for us to address, uh, we want you to reach out to us. Reach out through a private message to me or John. Shoot us an email. Uh, we have a website. You can go to our website and find our emails there. And uh, you know we'll definitely work that in. A couple of the things that we're looking at doing uh, through depression, anxiety, uh, some things like that. We want to we want to deal with those issues and help you in those specific areas of life. We know life is tough. We know life is hard. Um, we've, we've talked to several people at our meetups with family dynamics and how to deal. I think John, that was probably the two or three things questions were brought up. How do I deal with family members who are still uh, struggling with us uh, with a form of legalism? How do I deal with that? And so we want to help. We want to give those, those uh, biblical help in those, a lot of areas. Um, and so if you have a specific issue you want us to talk about, let us know. And we'd love to address it in the future. Yep. James, you looking forward to Christmas? I'm looking forward to Christmas, John. Hey, my birthday's today of the recording um, when this comes out. And uh, my wife gave me an early Christmas gift yesterday. 
Um, I am a <laughs> John. <coughs> John looked at me weird just now. Um, she gave me a package came in and she said, will you please open this a day or two days early? And I, I, I'm a firm believer, John birthdays are meant to be celebrated on your birthday, not the day before, not the day after, not the week after you celebrate your birthday on your birthday and you move on. And so I said, no, I said, my birthday's coming up in two days. I'll wait two days. And she just begged me, begged me, begged me. So finally all the kids, they knew what it was. And so they begged me to open it. So I opened the present early and uh, most of you know, um, some of you may know, I'm a huge Miami Dolphins fan. And so she bought me an orange and teal uh, Miami Dolphin backpack to replace the backpack that I've got. And uh, so I'm pretty excited about that, pretty stoked, thankful that she got that. Uh, so Israel's going to get a taste of the Miami Dolphins. Cause that's <laughs> that's going to be my traveling bag. And uh, and then I think she's got some other things planned for tomorrow for us. And uh, I think we'll maybe going out as a family or something. Uh, but it's going to be a great time. And just excited about, you know, another year, another year older, 34 years old, and seeing what the Lord's got for us in the year of the Lord 2023. So I'm excited about the new year as well. So come on. Happy birthday. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Hey, we're good. We're there. John, what about you? Are you excited about Christmas? Spending time yeah. with family? Yeah. And uh, been excited about getting stuff for the kids and that kind of thing. So, yep. Ha- excited about uh, the holiday coming up and just uh, finishing up some things at the church and gearing up for the new year and some new uh, things we've got planned for the for our ministry this year. So, well, we're going we're gonna to close it down. Just a short one today and just an announcement, basically, announcement episode. Yeah, but uh, remember, for freedom, Christ has set us free. Amen. Stand firm, therefore, and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. Amen, amen. It's a good word, John. And uh, until next time, to God, not the pastor, be the glory. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the For Freedom podcast. To find more content like this, please visit RFP Network. To find more podcasts like this one, resources, and meetups to encourage you on your journey.